In today's video, we will go through the events of 2018's action horror, The First Purge. Spoilers ahead, you have been warned. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment on what your favorite part was, and subscribe to our channel for more. At the beginning of the movie, a lunatic drug addict named Skeletor is interviewed by an NFFA employee. Skeletor announces his desire to purge himself, to which the employee says that he soon will be able to purge. America is going through an unemployment and housing crisis, with the economy declining rapidly. The American citizens have started to protest. Several riots take place in the streets all over the country. During such times, people have stopped believing in both the Republican and Democratic parties. The situation has led to the rise of a third political party called the New Founding Fathers of America, NFFA. The party leader is the US President Bracken, who promises to lead America through this crisis and make it better for them. NFFA plans to conduct an extreme social experiment. The experiment will be taking place on Staten Island, where for 12 hours, the people will be allowed to do anything they want. No crimes will be illegal. In fact, it is suggested that you go around performing various illegal activities. People have started calling the experiment a purge. Anyone who decides to stay on the island during the experiment will be compensated $5,000. Further, additional compensation will be provided to those who join the purge and survive. All the participants are being interviewed before the experiment so that their mental status after it can be analyzed. They also outfit the participants with contact lens cameras to monitor all activity and put tracking devices in them so they will know if they try to leave the island. Many residents are protesting the experiment. Many leave the island not to be a part of it. Naya and her brother Isaiah live in a tiny apartment. They have financial problems but are working their way through life. Naya believes in hard work and the betterment of their community. Still, her ex-boyfriend and friend Dimitri is the leader of a drug network. Naya protests against the purge. Meanwhile, Dimitri doesn't want to move large amounts of drugs and money out of the island at once, so he asks his dealers to stay low during it. One of the dealers named Capital A wants to participate in the purge, but Dimitri, being the leader, puts him in his place. Meanwhile, Naya's brother Isaiah starts to sell drugs in the streets to make ends meet. The lunatic drug addict from the beginning of the movie, Skeletor, comes to him. They get into an argument and Skeletor slices Isaiah's throat, wounding him. At home, Naya notices Isaiah's injury. She is shocked to know that her brother was involved in dealing. She rushes to Dimitri and warns him about letting Isaiah get into the business like him. Dimitri, on the other hand, did not know about the incident. He invites Naya and Isaiah to stay with him during the purge for their safety, but Naya refuses. Isaiah too intends to participate in the purge. He registers for it. It is an hour before the purge officially starts. The island's church is one of the safest places, so it is full of people wanting to stay safe. Naya, along with her friends Dolores, Luisa, and Selena. She calls Isaiah, who lies to her about going out of town on the last bus. Meanwhile, he is in his room preparing to participate in the purge. He intends to kill Skeletor, who had attacked him earlier. He applies the camera lenses to his eyes and prepares a gun. Dimitri stays behind in his office to be safe. The whole country watches as President Bracken announces the start of the first purge. The sirens blare on the island. Isaiah moves out of the building. Several drones fly over the island to broadcast the situation. Skeletor gets ready to start his purge. One of the citizens is trying to loot money from an ATM when Skeletor suddenly appears behind him. He stabs the man to death and yells at NFFA that this is only the first murder of the night. The officials get hands on the footage of the murder and broadcast it. Meanwhile, Capital A and some of his men decide to join the purge, despite Dimitri telling them not to. He decides to overthrow Dimitri and take over his business. Dimitri gets a call from one of his men telling him that Capital A is not at work. The man also sends him two prostitutes named Anna and Elsa. Isaiah walks along the streets looking for Skeletor when he comes across two women who have set traps of explosives for fun. He runs away from there safely. Robberies are happening across the islands, along with several loud parties. The officials are disappointed to see this as opposed to the murder and violence they had expected. Isaiah is taken to one of those parties by his friends. Meanwhile, the footage of Skeletor's first kill goes viral. Skeletor arrives at the party as well. One of the girls there starts dancing with him. He stabs her to death, but no one in the crowd notices. Then he moves on to another woman and stabs her too. Skeletor starts killing everyone he gets his hands on. As he repeatedly stabs a man, people notice and run away from the party. Isaiah, on the other hand, points his gun at Skeletor, but he is too scared to shoot, so he runs away too. 
Meanwhile, Dimitri's friend brings the prostitutes named Anna and Elsa to keep him busy for the night. The girls start to drink and get high. The three of them are together when suddenly one of the girls attacks him. They begin to fight. Someone had sent them to kill Dimitri. Dimitri narrowly saves himself and asks them who it was. It turns out Capital A had sent them, bribing them with a lot of money to get rid of Dimitri. He sets out with his men to find Capital A. Skeletor follows Isaiah. He is injured and hides in someone's house. Just then, Naya calls him and he gives her his location. Naya goes out to save her brother. She is walking on the streets when someone from a utility hole attacks her and tries to assault her sexually, but she manages to escape. When she reaches the address Isaiah gave her, Skeletor finds her and tries to rape her, but Isaiah comes to her aid and saves her. Meanwhile, Dimitri uses the prostitutes to bring Capital A into his trap. Dimitri and his gang ambush Capital A and kill all his men except for Anna and Elsa, who are told to never return to Staten Island. In the NFFA headquarters, Arlo Sabian, the chief of staff, is distressed to see that people aren't dying. The scientist, Dr. May Updale, assures him that the point of the experiment is to study human behavior, so the killings do not matter, but Arlo has to pay a lot of money if those people survive. People notice several men in masks and disguises suddenly taking part in several robberies, violence, and murders. Dr. May is suspicious of the sudden rise in violence. Dimitri and his friend are driving back to their office when a truck hits them. Dimitri is injured, but his friend dies in the accident. The masked people start firing on him, but he manages to kill all of them. He then calls his gang there and realizes that the masked people are not the citizens of the island, but mercenaries. Naya and Isaiah walk back to the church to see many white supremacists killing people outside it. When they drive away, the siblings go in, but are stopped by Louisa and Selena. Thankfully, they have survived, but Dolores is nowhere to be found. The four of them rush to their apartment after hearing gunshots nearby. After some investigation, Dr. May finds out that the masked people at midnight actually entered the island to increase the violence. She realizes to her horror that the masked participants are trained mercenary groups killing multiple civilians. She accuses Arlo of killing innocent civilians to show that the experiment had been successful. Arlo explains that he sent the mercenaries not just to make the experiment look successful, but to eventually help balance the wealth disequilibrium amongst the rich and the poor. Dr. May protests that the NFFA only wants to eradicate the poor to save the expense of the social program. Seeing his corruption being exposed, Arlo sends Dr. May to the island. He executes her before erasing all footage of the event. Meanwhile, Dimitri and his gang get ready to fight the masked mercenaries. They pack up several guns and explosives and get on the streets to save their island. Naya, Isaiah, Louisa, and Selena come back to Naya's apartment to hide when Dolores arrives there too. She had gone after Naya to check on her and lost her phone. The group stays together in the apartment. The mercenaries and the citizens are in a shootout. Most of the citizens have been killed when Dimitri and his gang come to their aid. The fight and the shootout go on for a while, but the gang wins at the end. They find a headset on one of the mercenaries. Someone from the NFFA is giving them the direction to crowded areas of the island to go and kill them. They are now sure that all this is NFFA's plan to eradicate as many civilians as possible. Naya and the group see several trucks arrive at their apartment building. Many mercenaries come out of the trucks. They hide in the apartment, not knowing what else to do. Meanwhile, Dimitri and the gang arrive there too, but the rest of the gang is killed by the flying drones. Dimitri sets out to the apartment to save Naya and the others. The mercenaries kill everyone from each of the apartments one by one. Dimitri manages to kill three of the mercenaries, then cuts off the building's electricity. He then kills more of them in the dark while proceeding to the 14th floor where Naya is. Naya and the others prepare knives to fight them. Louisa and Selena hide in the closet while Naya hides with a gun. Dolores and Isaiah hide with knives ready to attack. When the mercenaries come in, the group kills them. One of the mercenaries almost shoots Naya when Dimitri comes for their help. However, a larger group of them now comes towards the room. Dimitri makes everyone hide in the closet, but Naya insists on helping him. They both sit beside the door and look at the group of mercenaries outside through a mirror while being fired at. Dimitri wants to go out to fight them, but Naya stops him. They then take an explosive from one of the dead mercenaries. Dimitri wants Naya to throw it at them as he shoots it to make it explode. Just then, Skeletor arrives at the apartment and starts slicing the mercenaries to death, but they kill him as well. Taking this chance, Naya throws the explosive. Dimitri tries to shoot it, but gets shot himself. Finally, the explosive explodes, violently sending flames everywhere. The mercenaries die in the explosion. 
Naya and Dimitri cover themselves with the mattress and save themselves. Finally, the 12 hours are over. The sirens start to ring again, and the movie ends as we see the survivors of the purge out in the streets together. Everyone thanks Dimitri for saving them. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel to see more of these movie summaries.